And welcome back to The Daily Wrap. Although former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton did receive some good news today on the legal front, things were not quite so rosy on the political side. According to the latest Quinnipiac University Iowa poll out today, Bernie Sanders has now passed Clinton, although still within the margin of error, in the Hawkeye State. As you can see, Clinton continues to be her own worst enemy, managing to lose 12 points in just one month. In further bad news for Clinton, both Sanders and Biden have a higher net favorability rating and higher rating for honesty and empathy. Amy, let me ask you this. Can Hillary Clinton recover her, her, her footing? with 14 months to go. Well, it is 14 months, yeah. so she has that time, never say never. But also, remember, Hillary Clinton has been a public figure in the public eye for going on four decades now, from the governor's uh, mansion in Arkansas to the White House, as senator, secretary of state. I think public perception of Hillary is pretty uh, cooked in. People know, they know her, they know what they think about her, and unfortunately, the more they see of her, the, le the less they like. Well, Carl, I know that you are you know, not necessarily a supporter of Hillary Clinton, but looking at, looking at it from <laughs> your point of view and recognizing that while she's she's seeing some diminished numbers among Democrats, she's still the overwhelming Democrat favorite. I, I what think do you so. think? And, and, but back to what Amy said, she's been in the public eye for so long that I think that at this point, the fact that she's dropped this much is a telling tale because people have known her for 40 years. And in these last few months, since she started making more media and more public appearances, she has dropped that much. I think she's going to tank. And you know what, I gotta give it to Bernie Sanders. I don't really like the guy's policy, I don't really like the guy personally, but he's like, look, Democrats are pretty much socialists, so guess what? I'm a socialist and I'm running for president. <laughs> and people are supporting Democrats are not socialists. Uh, ask Debbie Washman Schultz. Well, ask well, me. I'm a Democrat. <laughs> he, he's willing to embrace the label. He's willing to be candid, unlike yep. Hillary, about exactly where he stands. Hillary's right. just not sincere. I mean, she just doesn't sound like this, she's in it. Joe, that's not going away in 14 months, is it? I mean, this is where I, I, I take the point of our fellow panelists here. Mm -hmm. Hillary, look, the story can change over 14 months. Maybe the email thing does go away. I think we'd all question if that's going to happen, but maybe it does. But you know what doesn't go away? Hillary is Hillary. Right. How can she recover? A bad candidate. I've been saying that since the very beginning when her poll numbers were 20, 30 points higher than this. Yep. 2008, we saw this movie in Iowa, Rick, where she finished not first, not right. second, John Edwards, mm, she right. finished third. That's you right. can't put toothpaste back in the tube. To Amy's point, she's been in the public eye for decades, and the brand is established. Taste is taste. You either like the ice cream or you don't like the ice cream. And right now, voters don't like this flavor of ice well, cream. Well, you know, it's hard to argue with that, and it doesn't help any when, uh, when her campaign announces that they're going to reboot the campaign. You're not <laughs> supposed to tell us you're rebooting exactly. it. You reboot she's it. She's going to show more if humor. You can, yeah. Right. She, yeah. She's going to suddenly have better writers, I guess. Meanwhile, the Democratic National Committee has announced there will only be six primary debates. Now, bear in mind, in 2008, there were close to two dozen debates. Some, including two DNC vice chairs, feel limiting the debates to just six will freeze out lesser known candidates like former Governor Martin O'Malley. To that end, O'Malley joined MSNBC's Morning Joe and called out DNC Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Here's do you believe the process has been rigged I by, do. By, by the party leaders for Hillary Clinton? I, I think it's. I think you're so pressed to say leaders, but the uh, I'm told that this is the prerogative of the chair. And there's always an inclination, I think, for old relationships to kind of circle the wagons and protect one another. But that's not what our party's about. This is and now. Tell our viewers who the chair is. The chair is uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Right. Yeah. So the. Uh, the, the fact that the two vice chairs have come out, I think, speaks volumes to it. And, and look, this race is wide open. So Debbie Wasserman Schultz, despite growing displeasure over this with Democrats, said today that she's not going to budge on this issue. Carl, you ran for Congress. I did. Do you believe that uh, the DNC is trying to protect Hillary Clinton and basically the fix is in? I think Washman Schultz is trying to protect her. But one thing we have to look at here is um, what O'Malley's doing, he's taking Trump's strategy. Trump is very hard on the Republican 
party, the establishment. And he's trying to take that same thing and attack the Democratic Party. Now, typically, the Democratic Party is very intact, and they're very, you know, publicly, they're very together. This is one of the first times that you've had a presidential candidate really come out and, and call out and fight against the party it's running for. Interesting. Well, in the meantime, Hillary continues to open the door for other Democratic candidates. The New York Times reports today that New York Times was busy today, that party insiders are throwing around some other names in addition to Vice President Joe Biden. Let's go around the table and I want to get your immediate thoughts on the following names, each one of you. Start with you, Joe, Secretary of State John Kerry. 2004, if he wins Ohio, he wins the presidency. Yes, he does. So he came pretty damn close. No reason why you can't think John Kerry is just coming off this Iran deal, getting that done, has stature, has name recognition. I don't think he could win. But only win. 21 percent approval. Oh, yes, exactly. So it's, it's something that he doesn't want to own necessarily, Any a non-starter. I was going to say, uh, John Kerry, Iran deal, 21 percent public approval. Uh, he's so closely associated with having negotiated this. I actually think that, uh, that it would hurt his candidacy. Carl? Dead on arrival. Dead on arrival. Okay, let's <laughs> go to Vice President Al Gore. Uh, well, right. he invented the internet. He did. And uh, <laughs> he said the seas were going to rise 50 feet. That didn't happen. But, uh, you know, as it's long early. as he allows another recount in Florida. Amy, quick one. Oh, Mike, an Al Gore Bush matchup uh, uh, all over again. Please <laughs> say I have, this for me. I, I have, well, a few words for Al Gore. Massage therapist. Yeah. Joe? Ooh, you don't ow, have to, ow, yeah, right. You don't have to worry about Bush in any capacity. And then Challenge quickly, Gore. just uh, a quick response to Senator, what's her name? Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> forgot her name. Joe. Elizabeth Warren. I believe she will be on the Joe Biden ticket, not ah, at the top of a ticket. Hey. Uh, Elizabeth Warren, she's too left for America. But let me throw out my own suggestion. But look how well Bernie Sanders is let doing. Let me throw out my own suggestion. Leon Panetta. Uh, his very name isn't being tossed around, but I think he could be a very interesting candidate for that. Quickly. Not a snowball's chance in hell. What about Panetta? What about uh, uh, yeah, You know what? Idea? Not a bad option. It's actually not a bad option. Interesting thinking. All right, we want you to share your thoughts about Bernie Sanders passing up Hillary in Iowa. You can do that by going to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. We also want to know who your pick for the 2016 nomination is in either party. Go to NewsmaxPolls.com and let us know. Coming up, Trump. Stay with us.